You welcome to Street Views on Rockland House TV, where we bring to you the latest news and happenings around town. I am Zio Udoite. And my name is Kelly Original Farsi. Kelly Farsi. Yeah. All right, today is still in the euphoria of the 60th anniversary of our dear country, yeah, Nigeria. Independence anniversary. Independence anniversary. Yes, yes. We are here, we are out on the street to bring to you the views of the people concerning our, new, our dear country. Are we doing fine? Yeah, we just want to know what the people feel about Nigeria at 60. Yeah. You know, after 60 years of independence, one would say a 60-year-old man is a matured man. Yeah, he's a matured man. actually actually achieved a lot of things. Yeah. So, um, it's not in our place to say the minds of the people. No. You know, so, we'll be hitting the streets. Um, today is a special edition. Um, so, uh, we'll be having interesting persons here, popular faces, to talk about Nigeria at 60. Nigeria Stay tuned. at 60. Yeah. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Hello. Hi. All right, Nigeria at 60. What's your assessment on that? Yeah, my assessment on Nigeria at 60. Normally, as it is, my so I go talk. Um, I give kudos to our president, Muhammadu Buhari, you know, Sam, for trying to at least maintain the peace that we are having now in South South. Nothing like war, nothing like world war, nothing like civil war. At least, I give kudos to him on that. But coming back in a stand to our normal life, me and you know say normally in Nigeria no no balance. Cause everywhere knows you. Everywhere knows you in terms of you know employment and then every other thing that we do we supposed to benefit as a Nigerian. So that's just that's just it. Okay. All right, thank you. Hello. Hi. <laughs> All right, what's your assessment on Nigeria at 60? We just celebrated independence some days back. In case you don't know, this is MZ comedian John Bosco, the long bearded comedian in Nigeria. We don't even have plenty except me. Nigeria at 60, shall sure, by the grace of God, I'm alive to witness Nigeria at 60 in time of coronavirus. We witness corona, which will be a history. To our children and our children, children, thank God I never die for Corona time. Hungry never kill me. Small money see there. I job Gary, I job Vuvu, I job Abu, I job Rice. Nigerian and sixty, sha? Then try, then try. We have good road. We have pop pump uh, water. Okay. We have we have some people have private yet. With I uh, wish I will have my own private yet very soon. We have flyover all over, everywhere. We have farmers. You know, this Coronia, I'm waiting be the name, Coronia or Corona. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Thank you very much. They make us to work. Even the governor of Aquaibom said, tell us, make we know they see that again. Make we stand up. That is Dakada. We the Dakada. We they do farm work. We they get Gary plenty. When Gary is selling two for two hundred, we we'll get them plenty for quite bomb. Seven for two hundred because of the Kada in his Egypt. Everybody don't become a farmer. Right. Even me very soon, I could become a farmer. All right, thank you. Just like that. Yes. Just Hello. Like that. Hello. All right, uh, Nigeria at sixty. What's your personal view? What's your personal um, assessment on that? Okay. Well, you see. Um, for a human being to attain the age of 60, uh, it's almost um, getting to the end of his life as humans. Now I want to say Nigeria is old. I see Nigeria as a very great nation, most populous nation in Africa, in the black race. And, uh, I see Nigeria achieving more. Uh, if you want to talk about um, war records, you see countries like America, United States of America, Nigerians have uh, recorded uh, academic excellence okay. in diverse fields. Uh, but I still have to say something for those that uh, like um, criticizing the nation. You know, when you're trying to criticize Nigeria, you should also remember Sudan. When you're criticizing Nigeria, you should remember other countries that are war now. There are so many places that, um, many countries that you can't leave. 
they were finding way there are refugees in other countries, bomb blasts everywhere, rape cases and so many things. But here we are enjoying democracy. You understand? But um, at that same moment, we want Nigeria to be a better nation, more than what we see now. So we are pleading for the uh, leaders to please apply more wisdom. You know, wisdom is profitable for living. And uh, with wisdom, we can uh, achieve more. One, if we can get rid of a uh, sentiment like ethnicity, nepotism, and uh, um, uh, selfishness, I think Nigeria will be fine. Okay, all right, thank you. Hello? Yeah, good afternoon. Yeah, afternoon. Uh, looking at um, Nigeria critically and personally, would you say that we are fully independent as a country? Uh, Nigeria, if you talk about the uh, independency of the country, I think uh, uh, from the look of things, okay. we are not really independent. Okay. Because why? Uh, when you talk about independence, that means you are free from certain things. Yeah. So definitely, if you look at um, the, the, the poverty level, Nigeria has never been free from poverty yet. Okay. If you want to look into the um, the uh, the aspect of um, you saying what is in your mind and achieving it, then I think Nigeria is not yet independent. Okay. Your son. Then also check. Uh, you want to talk about even the the economy of the country is not yet independent because it's it's actually um, de 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 dependent, dependent on something okay. which they are yet to be independent from it so uh if you may ask me again and again and again i'll tell you nigeria is yet to be independent okay. yeah all right thank you hello yeah okay uh recently nigeria just celebrated independence at 60. Uh, would you say that nigeria is fully independent as a country well talking about nigeria at 60 i don't think i have anything to say because one they are not trying for us. Okay. If you want to check from the past history to the present record now, you will definitely know that they have not done anything for us. When Obasanjo was the president of this country, he was a youth. When Buhari was the president of this country as a head of state, he was still a youth. But what do you say today? You see, some, you see people that are even more bigger than the country themselves, becoming the decision maker of the country. So to me, I, I don't see anything to assess them for yes all right thank you yeah obviously we have, have heard from the people here on this edition of street views yeah regarding the 60th independence anniversary yes. of nigeria we have had mixed feelings right yeah, sure definitely we yeah. have and a lot of people are happy that we are 60 years old while some persons are of the opinion that, that there's that nothing to celebrate about to celebrate, but yeah. any which way this is nigeria yeah. and we are nigerians and nothing can take that nothing away from can us take that away from us definitely because yeah. it can only get better for nigeria so um from us here the street views on rockland house tv we are saying thank you for staying tuned thank with you. us uh, more life to nigeria more progress and more greatness to nigeria what do you have to say to nigeria okay more for three years to come more let me say independence yes to come yeah <laughs> okay all right so amazing to nigeria and nigerians please let's stay safe and be positive about nigeria yeah. it can only get better, better. this is rockland house tv, TV. thank you